going into WSOE, I was thinking, this is one shot in a million. I only had my in-game knowledge, which was not as great as the other girls because they had competed at tournaments more often than me. She has been a caster among the top tournaments. I had gone into this, just take it one opponent at a time, but suddenly after that, I was in a position where this is it, it's the finals. I'm either facing off against Cora or Patra. It's time for the grand finals between Cora and Gia. Whoever wins that takes the whole thing, and it was starting to enter my mind that I could just win. Gia can go for the throat here. Being able to show up to your first big tournament and win it all, I was like, that's a damn good story. I want that. Gia is going to land on top. The champion for the WSOE2 Hearthstone Showdown, it is Gia from the Philippines. Going into the tournament, if everybody thought they had an edge, it had been thrown out of the window because of the lineup, you know, completely wrecked by the nerf and everybody having to start from scratch. Going to Gia here as she finishes off Slissa in this game number five. Yeah, I was really nervous, but at the same time, I had something to prove. I do think I managed to sneak under the radar for the first half of it, especially when I went back and watched the VODs, like the caster predictions, like nobody picked me. Oh my gosh, it's turn four! Damage. After winning the whole thing, I knew that I had proved I really know what I'm talking about when I'm casting. Where I am now is happier than I have ever been. I do think that esports is where my passion is. She has been a caster and now she's a champion among top players in the world. WSOE had such a positive reaction from the whole community that I would love to be part of it again. So defending my title is such an exciting prospect because I love being able to prove that when you work hard at something, you can be the best there.